Welcome to the latest edition of Enlightened Espresso. Um, I'm here with my master, our master, Master Chung. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, I gave the explanation again. Um, I'm wearing horn frogs because my younger son, Gabriel, our younger son, uh, Gabriel, is headed off to Texas Christian University in a couple of weeks. So um, no collared shirt today, I, I apologize. <laughs> but I'm proud. I'm a proud it's look, father. It looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's look very nice. <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you. One of the things we're uh, always dealing with um, mm. with with our children, with, um, and I, I know it's common, is social media. Mm. And social media has taken over so much of our lives, and especially younger people's lives, where they're on it constantly. Can um, what, what what effect do you think social media is having on, say, today's younger generation? That's the one thing very obvious. If you're looking at the the um, the Maslow, the, the hierarchy of needs, and you say that you see that this is one of the need is called self respect, and um, sometimes you know young generations um, identify the respect from getting lights, being light, or getting enough of praises, you know, also good, so forth and so forth. So in the past, before we had social media, you need to go now and do something to gain respect and to show that you're mature and so on and so forth. So it different world. But when we have social media, it's easier and it's easy to fit into this model that um, in order to to be someone, hey, look at me, I, I have so many likes. Oh, look at me, I, I know I have many comments here, the comments here, the comments there. And so you can see that it fit into a certain function that is neat. However, it's, um, it's not the real answer. It's not substantive. Or, no. Yeah, it's not the real answer. It's very superficial. But however, um, nowadays we we mistaking that. It's like you're driving the car and you see the mirage on the road. And you, th you believe that, oh, that's water. So this is a kind of illusion, right? And so it's very difficult to get out of it. So the first thing, I think, is superficiality. It's superficial, but it's not easy to get out of it because it, it certainly it, it, it satisfies a certain need of respect because you know you are someone or you think you are someone. It's an illusion. It's very much an illusion, illusion yes. So that, that's the first thing that I think uh, Buddhism, if you are trained in the Buddhist disciplines and you l learn how to be humble, you learn not go after likes, but you learn that, hey, look, this is just an image. It's not a real you. And so the Buddhist training or the Buddhist thinking is this. You're going back there and you be very substantial for yourself and you understand that to gain respect, you need to do something to really affect others' lives, like an act of kindness. It's not just on the screen, right? On the picture you send. And therefore, it's a lot of things that you can see that um, um, there's, there's, there's a superficial aspect of looking after image, but at the same time, it's fit or it fulfills a certain kind of need. So the first thing, that's superficiality. But the second thing is, I think is very interesting, is about the integrity. We always um, believe in integrity. We, we, we can tell lies. We can make up things easy. People, you know, you, I say something wrong, something lies, you know right away. Right. Because we, we, we just seeing each other all the time. In the family, you know, we see, each, we see mother and father all the time. So it's hardly that we say a lie that they don't detect. But in social media, there's nobody else can figure that out. Right, right. You can, you can claim anything you want to claim. Who can do anything to you? And so it's so easy for us to lose that sense of who we are, the integrity, and it's easy past for us to believe who we are rather than the more difficult path to build integrity. So you're essentially, if I'm hearing you, creating an illusion of popularity when they don't really even know who you are? You hit the right word, popularity. Popularity. And because of popularity, then we think that the image is real. And we don't know who we are. And the more we get into this web, the more we're addicted to the images because it's, it's part of the game is make us become so addicted. Not talking about 
the company that creates social media and all the programs that make you want to pay all the attention on it. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to lose you know, attention. You want to keep your mind nine hours per day on that. So, so tell me what drives that addiction. What, what, makes, what makes young people or you know, many people, older and younger, unable to put it down, unable to put that smartphone or stop asking or trying to get acceptance on a, on a social media platform? That's a very intelligent question because even you want to put the phone down, even you put social media down, but the company creates social media, does, do they want you to put down? They can have all kind of tactics just to make you pick up the phone. They have all kind of things that make you really go into it, and it's a very calculated measure. So you have to be addicted from every single stroke you play on the iPad to every single post to every single color. And all. So you you're not talking about okay, we go on social media, we are naive, we could go in, go out, and you know you, the social media has its power. It sucks you in there. That's an illusory space that is very difficult. Once you're in there, you cannot get out. It's better than LSD. <laughs> you go in there and you're gone. So what I'm trying to say is this. Um, you want to find a way to back out. It's not that easy once you get in there. So the third one, the third point I think is um, it's about the confusion. You know, we're talking about superficiality. We're talking about there's no integrity because there's no, nobody really questioned that. But the third thing is, um, because there's so much information, so much thing in there, and so much, and then the connection get you to be confused and you're, so, you're disconnected with who you are. The result of the first two, you're disconnected with who you are. You're talking about not believing and believing in the image, but the end result of all of this is that we just lost our identity. We just lost, we don't know who we are. And as a result of all of this, then we want to get into it more. But I've got, let's say I've got 50,000 likes and I'm walking around with the, uh, if I'm hearing you, an illusion that I'm somehow popular. Why do I still not feel connected? Wow. We never be feel connected. Even we feel connected. Why? You ask why we don't feel connected? Because at the very beginning, we, we are not connected with ourselves. We don't ask who we are. We don't get in touch with our feelings. We don't see the, 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 the feeling of oneself is that important anymore. But we value the image more than the connectedness with oneself. The three connections are so important to any human being. The connection with our spirit, our Godhead. The second one is connection with our true heart, a heart of compassion, heart of love. And the third connection is connection with the gut here, the gut feelings, the right and wrong. And we, we disconnect it at the very beginning. So social media, we accentuate and magnify that disconnection. So you ask, okay, why is it so difficult? Because the design for you to be disconnected. And you want, and the desire for you to connect more with social media, not with yourself. And and I'm trying to get my arms around it because I, I intuitively agree, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm having trouble explaining why, if it doesn't help me feel connected, which is what I'm really searching for, do I continue to get more and more addicted to these platforms? Of course, more addicted. And your question is, like, okay, I want to be the light, but I get attracted to the darkness. But darkness has a power. That power, it makes you feel so addicted and you cannot blame yourself. It is that social media itself has that power to suck you in and that darkness is, is the illusion that we suddenly, we realize that we love that darkness so much. So, so it is a nature, the duality, the nature. One nature is, is like you open up the light within but the other nature is to satisfy the image, the ego. And does it? Yes. So why wouldn't that drive satisfaction? Why, why are we innately dissatisfied at the end of the, or can't we get out of the cycle? Pretty difficult. When you get out of the cycle, the only way you can get out of the cycle is that you feel all the social media things, all of them become meaningless. But at some point in time, people will feel empty and meaningless. 
And that's when the beginning of the new cycles that you discover yourself. Give me a first step then. So uh, let's say I've just, I'm saying I recognize my dissatisfaction. I recognize the illusion, at least at some level, and I want to start to break away. Can you give me some advice to discovering more satisfaction? I think um, the easiest step is if you have a son, you have someone, take them go hiking. Go off on the mountain without the iPad and iPhone. Be with that person and learn listening to what he has or what she has. Just spend time with that person. Never expect that that person, okay, oh, I, I can do it. I can throw away my iPad. No, it's very hard to break the bad habit. And so the first thing that if we are parents or we are good friends, let's go hiking, go a couple of days, go into the mountain and you know get off from the social media for a couple of days and just simply sit, listen, and connect first with the heart of love. And second thing, then connect with nature. Nature is like God. Nature is pure and open. Openness, no judgment, no labeling. That is pretty much like God. And so go to nature, be in nature, do and hike, go up the mountain hike so you can see really a vast scenario and just do that. I think that's the very first step. Now, there's many more steps, but I think the first step is to connect with nature, the openness of nature, and connect with someone we have heart to heart. Yeah. That would help a lot with social media away from it already. So getting connected maybe can be starting with disconnecting for a little bit, meaning for sure putting the do not, even if it's a starting with do not disturb for an hour as you get your thoughts or you get if you start to learn to breathe and meditate? Well, it has a side effect when you put do not disturb, then maybe your soul and your spirit said, what? What, what am I missing? <laughs> <laughs> right, so right. You'd rather not try to push into that direction, but you'd rather be positive. Okay, let's go hiking. You know, make, make a point that every week you go hiking, make a point you go to the mountain, make a point you sit with someone. And especially, now, young generation has a very big thing about it. They, they love to do charity. So one will get out and do charity. Connect with someone by that. And then slowly, slowly, that's the first step. So slowly, slowly, everyone who want to get out freely from the, um, the social media, probably you need to meditate because meditate make you feel you, you adequate, you enough, you have enough. Everything's inside. You feel so fully inside. You feel so much light inside that you don't need to go into social media. And, and you talked about charity. That goes back to other episodes where you talk about kindness and discovering that nature within you. It's by giving. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And so you can see everything's rolling slowly, slowly, but towards the path of uh, spirituality is very important. And everything can be the first step. Everything you do as long as you connect with yourself. The social media disconnect you and yourself. It wants you to connect with the illusion there. And sometimes we cannot cut, but we can always make the first step to look back, turn around and look back. And therefore, um, in the Buddhist practice, there is a simple thing they call turn the light around. Very simple, but that is what can make everyone, young and old, we slowly, slowly get away from social media. And there's one big thing about social media is that probably number four in our talk, it's about the confusion. When you social media, you have people on this view and that view, and suddenly you get caught in the dualism. You're going to fight with the right, dualism. Wrong, and then suddenly everything is a mess. Well, yeah. we'll start by going for a hike. You've inspired me to, to get out. Yes. Go, go <laughs> yes. So, thanks again for your, your yeah. time today, and we'll, um, we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Okay. Thank you, Master.